What's up guys, Fusions here. Today, we're gonna be opening up this Bakugan Legends Nova RLS Pegatrix. So, let's get started guys. So today we have some more Bakugan Legends action. We're gonna be opening up this Nova RLS Pegatrix. I've had this for a while and I think it's time to open it up. Um, this Pegatrix looks pretty cool. I do like the RLS colors already, but let's open this up and let's take a look at it up close. First, let's take a look at the back. So you guys can see what it comes with. Just one character card and one gay card. No Baku cores. Yeah, I know. Well, let's open this up and let's take a look at it. All right, so Pegatrix, really cool Baku gun. I have seen the Ventus Nova Pegatrix and that one was really, really good. Super, super strong. If you did not look at that video, you can see the little link up here. Go check out that video because that Pegatrix is is crazy. Okay, so we're gonna leave the Bakugan in the back for now. We'll take a look at her later. We do have this paper here, which tells you about the battery because this is a Nova Bakugan. It does light up. So it tells you about, I guess, how to put a new battery or something, or to be careful because it has batteries. We do have a bag that contains the gate card, as you can see right there, and the stats, the character card for this Bakugan open this up and let's take them out okay so what do we have here first the gay card so it's this one it is dan and winton just high-fiving each other you got number six in the set so i do have this one if i believe yeah i am pretty sure i do have this one so it is not a new one to me aquas get zero that sucks you know you guys know i'm an aquas brawler and then for the stats of this nova rls pegatrix all right here they are. So Arliss, Nova, Pegatrix looks super majestic right there. Very nice. Green Fist and a Magic Shield. 600 B power, 2 damage. If you land on a Green Fist, you get to add a core from the field onto Pegatrix. So let's say you use both of those cores. You land on a Green Fist, then you attach the Magic Shield as well because of the ability. You would be at 600 plus 650 from the Magic Shield. That's 1250. And then the the most B power that a Green Fist could give you is 150. So 1250 and then plus the 150 from the Green Fist, you're at 1400 with four damage, if I'm not mistaken. Is that is that correct? Did I do the math correctly? 1400 and four damage. Now you can do other plays because it does have the add a core ability. So maybe you can add a Flame Fist, which will get you all the way up to 10 damage six from the flame fist plus the two from the green fist and then the two here that will get you to 10 damage so there's like kind of different plays that you can do um but 1400 b power with these two cores is like it's like in the middle it's not the best it's not the worst but i do like that it has an ability which uh you can always play around with and maybe activate some nanogons or do some i don't know just different combos i guess what do you guys think of this nova rls pegatrix do you guys like it do you think it could be a good bakugan and being an rls bakugan can be a downside since there's not that many action cards that support rls or not that many strong cards you actually want a, like a different faction that has better cards to put in your deck but let me know in the comments what do you guys think but now let's take a look at the bakugan itself here she is rls or nova rls pegatrix let's take her out carefully we do not want to break the bakugan but here it is here's the bakugan looks very very like um chunky maybe i should say it is not the best pegatrix design in my opinion there has been better designs for pegatrix but it is limited because as you can see this back part right here is where the battery goes where the whole mechanic of the uh light up thing is so um it's kind of limited to have like a really amazing design. It is not too bad because the Pegatrix is kind of like standing up. Yeah, it's like standing up sort of. But I mean, like I said, there's been better uh, Pegatrix designs. I do like the Aurelus colors and Legends though. This color fits way better for Aurelus than uh, what we had in Evolutions. And then we do have some white color here on the wings and i don't think we've seen that in aurelis before i can't remember or maybe i'm just 
I'm just remembering wrong, but I don't think we've seen white on our list. And I think this looks not too bad. It doesn't look too bad. We also do have some gold details on the wings. As you can see, there's like little gold uh, little details on there, which is very nice. And I'm pretty sure we have it all over the body as well. Let me see. No, it looks like everything else is just this color. And it, as you can see, it's translucent as well. I do like the artless colors a lot. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's take this out, this little paper. Now we can activate, oh, there it is. There's the, did, did you guys see the light up feature? Well, if you didn't, you activate it by pulling this down and letting go. And there's a light up feature that you can even see through uh, the middle right there. There you go, super cool. Light up feature in Bakugan Legends. Now it's time to close this Bakugan. So it is a little tricky, but just follow the steps and you'll be able to close this Pegatrix. So first, we gotta make sure we have the tail down like this. Make sure to hold that. The legs go up, hold the legs up like that. Head goes down and then the body goes down. So make sure you have all of that just there like this. Then we could go to one side first, push the arm in, then wing in, it should lock. And then on the other side, same thing, arm in, wing in, and everything should lock. And that is how you close this Pegatrix. Now, my Ventus Nova Pegatrix was a little like flimsy. It kind of like was coming off. It wasn't closing properly, but this one, it looks like it closes perfectly. So that's awesome. That's a plus. The magnet looks like it's uh, good. It's not complete centered, but um, looks good. Let's roll it onto this gay card because we don't have any cores in these packs. So um, let's roll it onto that gay card and let's see how it opens up. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, brawl. And there is this really cool Nova RLS Pegatrix. So that's it for this opening of this really cool Bakugan Nova RLS Pegatrix. It looks pretty cool. I like the RLS colors on this Bakugan. And of course it is a Nova, so it does have that really cool light up feature. The stats for this one, they're not the best, especially because it's an RLS Bakugan. That's the downside of this one. If it was like a different faction, then it would be okay. Um, you can do some pretty cool like combos or kind of plays because it does have that ability, but it's really up to you. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think of the stats of this Bakugan and let me know if you like how this Bakugan looks. But before we go, because we are opening up an RLS Bakugan, I'm going to open up a Bakugan Age of RLS pack. Yes, Age of RLS pack. These are pretty rare. These are from year one of Bakugan Battle Planet. I have not completed this set and that is because the set is rare. I got these because um, Haru Ren was actually able to send me three of these. We kind of talked about it and he was able to find some. So I got three of these and I'm only opening these up whenever I open um, an RLS Bakugan. So today is the day. Let's see what we get. I am excited and I am nervous because I only have three of these. After this, I'm only going to have two. So I hope I get some cards that I don't have yet. And... Um, Maybe some Bakugan Elites would be awesome. So let's see what we pull. Is anything good? Let's see what we have. We got Aqua's Breath. That's pretty cool. Hydro Barrage. Liquid Darts. That's actually a really good one. Nice. Oops. Raging Seas. Regrowth. Hyper Nilius. Hypno Flash. Energy Drain. I actually, I don't think I had three of these. I didn't have a set. But now with this one, I think I do. So that's awesome. Hyper Viscerox Ultra, which is an awesome rare. That's pretty awesome. I don't know if I have this one. I have to double check, but that's an awesome rare. So that's really good. And then we have a Hyper Dragonoid Ultra Hex. Just a rare Hex. And I think I do have this one, but I'm not sure if I have it on a Hex. I'm just happy we got an awesome rare. So pretty good pack, I would say. Not too bad. We got two more Age of Wireless packs to go, but that's for another video. But that's it for this video. Make sure to hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments which Bakugan I should open up next. Go down in the comments below. There's always a poll, so make sure to vote in the comments below. Vote, vote, vote. Subscribe and stay tuned for more Bakugan videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.